with Earl Spence activating his rematch clause. Yeah. I don't know who he brought to camp, but some people feel like bringing in the best work possible and bringing in somebody that could duplicate whoever you're fighting style. This is a career-defining fight for Earl Spence. He he took a, a, a really, really bad beating in the first fight. Yeah. Should he call Jerron Ennis in for sparring to prepare for Terrence Crawford? What I, I mean, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I look at it as if he feels like he's never going to fight um, Jerron Ennis, you know, Boots and Bulls, you might look at it different because they're probably looking at it like, yo, that's potential prey. Mm -hmm. But if he feels like I'm never going to fight him, yeah, we'll make the call with Bozy because you're going. That's like you're going to have somebody that's a lot more talented mimic him. So yeah, Orthodox is, I'll fall. Is things. that the best possible work that you can get yeah. for that particular style? Yeah, it's not even not even for debate. Somebody that goes Orthodox I'll fall better. That's more fluent, bigger, stronger, faster, um, more active with punches and throw punches different angles and can move. That that would make the most sense, but. If I was Earl, if I was Earl, Earl Spencer, Derek James, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll be on Bozy's phone ASAP for that. Now on Bozy and them, would they do it? They probably still like, hold up, you're a prey. I can see me fighting you in the next two to three fights in their mind. Mm -hmm. So, but if I was Earl Spencer, I'd make that call ASAP.